Hi guys, Sneaky Joy is here, and today we have this new fancy Bentusi see Nautilus duct, which promises way better cooling and way better printing quality. For some reason, for now, there were no still any reviews of this product, and I decided to add some information about it and why you potentially may not want to grab it just yet. First of all, this mesh cover is twice as light as the original cover. However, I have to say that it will not actually affect your printing quality by any reasonable measure, it's just several grams. Considering how heavy the printing had on Bamboo Labs X1C and P1, I don't really think it will matter. I feel like I am qualified to speak about this new Bentusi see duct. Just because I have had the original ducts, obviously, and the first generation duct, which I actually really like, because it did improve my printing quality. It did so by not much, but it still did improve printing quality, and I really appreciate it. But, unfortunately, it's mostly a gimmick, because for that money it's not worth the price. You can get the same level of quality by just slowing down your printing speed a little bit. And here you can see six overhang tests. Three of them, next to me with bridges, are printed with first generation Bentusi, second generation Bentusi, and stock Bamboo Lab duct. I had very aggressive slowdown on overhangs setting, and for the life of me, I cannot see any difference between the same orientation branches of those models. They were printed with exactly the same settings, and uh, right now I am orienting the branches the similar way for each model, since I wasn't using auxiliary fan when I was printing those models, the only difference between them is the different duct that was covering the part fan and directing the airflow towards the printed part. All six models are printed with Sunlu PLA Plus, by the way. But my profile is very good. Let's check out the stock profile Bamboo Labs prepared for us. Once again, all the branches are aligned in the same way as they were printed, and no auxiliary fan was used. Stock is on the left, Bentusi first generation is in the middle, and Bentusi second generation is on the right. And with stock original unmodified Bamboo Labs preset for 0.2mm, Bentusi second generation is worse than the original duct. Once again, I have to reiterate that I was printing with Sunlu PLA Plus Gray, and that Bentusi see manufacturer claims that new second generation duct performs way better if you use higher temperatures, or rather engineering filament in my translation, and if you slow your print down. And yeah, in general, you don't need Bentusi duct anyways, because you can get great results even on stock duct if you slow your print down. Maybe, maybe the results will be better if you are using, let's say, PTG or ASA, ABS, other high temperature materials which don't really need a lot of cooling. But then the question stands, why would you need to change your duct anyways? Bentusi see said that they are developing different attachments for Nautilus, and this is actually great news, because in this duct version it's very easy to swap the cover that forces air towards nozzle. They said that they are sending my way some prototypes, which I'll be able to test. However, if you are like me and mostly are printing PLA or PLA+, Plus, I would advise you to avoid second generation for now. First generation works way better for this material, and I didn't really test second generation with other materials than PLA+, Plus, so I cannot speak for them. Still, after seeing how all the ducts perform at very slow speeds, I can say that Bentusi is mostly a gimmick which you can buy if you want to tinker with your printer, rather than really improve it. So guys, stay vigilant and don't buy crap you are not going to use or will regret buying later. And um, yeah, maybe I'll be making more 3D printing videos if you like this content, because I have a lot to speak about. My name is Sneaky Joe, and if you like this video, please perform your super routine. Have a nice day.